So we're about to play this week's game. This is the What's a Challenge. So each contestant will have a belt of shaving foam around their waist, and it is the person with the most Watsits on their belt at the end wins. So let's go.
my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness to show up. Stand against 
So today's memory verse is from Genesis chapter 1 verse 31. It's the same memory verse that Heather did last week. So let's go. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 31, God saw everything that he had made and it was very good. Do you think you have it? Okay, we're going to go over it again in 3, 2, 1. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, God saw everything that he had made and it was very good. Okay, that time it was very good, but I think we can do it a tiny bit better. So let's do it again in three, two, one. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, God saw everything that he had made and it was very good. Okay, we're gonna do it one last time, but we're gonna do this one. Jumping, okay. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready, but let's go. Three, two, one. The Bible says in Genesis chapter one, verse 31, God saw everything that he had made and it was very good. Okay, that was really good. I want you to keep practicing this throughout today and also remember that everything that God has made is so good. Hey Juniors, so today we have got another story from the Bible for you. Last week we looked and we learned how God created all of the earth and we looked at how he created people and all of the animals. This week we are going to follow a man called Noah and we are going to learn about his story and what God used him for. And I want you to watch really carefully to see how many animals Noah could fit in his boat. Are you ready? Okay. Stories of the Bible. Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hi. Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah. But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. 
So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colored, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water! Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, let go. So Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya! Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. to see how Noah and his family were safe on the boat and we got to see how all of the animals that God had made that they were all safe on his boat as well. Were you able to notice how many animals there were? Do you think he could eat them then? God looked at all of these animals and because he had made them he thought they were very good because he loved them. Did you know that God made you as well? And that when he looks at you, he thinks that you are very good because he really loves you too. We are going to go and do some questions now about the video that we just watched. So I wonder how many you can answer. Okay, so now we're just going to pray. Why don't you close your eyes as we just talk to God. Dear God, thank you that you made everything to be good. Thank you that you made the animals and that you wanted to keep them safe. And thank you that you made us and you want to keep us safe. We love you. Amen. Genesis 1. No, we can. Oh no! So, for example, if 